At the heart of the Tower of Babel story lies a central challenge. Humanity's desire to build a tower that reaches the heavens. This audacious goal represents the pinnacle of human achievement, a symbol of their greatness and power. The Bible tells us that God, seeing their pride and arrogance, decides to intervene. But what drives humanity to pursue this monumental task in the first place? Their motivation is rooted in a desire for unity and cooperation. The people are one, with a single language and a shared goal, working together to defy the limits of the sky. But this unity also breeds a sense of pride and self-importance, as if they can accomplish anything they set their minds to. The tower becomes a testament to their collective ego, a monument to their own greatness. As the story unfolds, we begin to see the cracks in their plan. The tower, initially a symbol of unity, slowly becomes a symbol of division. The people's ambitions and desires for recognition and praise start to tear them apart, and God sees the chaos that will ensue if this project continues. It's in this moment that God decides to confuse their language, scattering the people across the face of the earth and putting an end to their tower-building endeavors. The tower's construction is also a testament to humanity's innate curiosity and drive to push boundaries. They're not satisfied with the status quo, always seeking to explore, to discover, and to innovate. This insatiable appetite for progress is what drives human civilization forward, but it can also lead to reckless ambition and disregard for the consequences. The various interpretations of the Tower of Babel are as fascinating as they are diverse. Some see it as a story about the importance of unity, highlighting the dangers of divisions and factions within society. Others view it as a celebration of diversity, where the confusion of languages leads to the richness and variety of cultures we see today. One interpretation suggests that the Tower of Babel represents humanity's attempt to usurp God's power to take the place of the divine in the universe. This hubris is what sparks God's intervention, as God seeks to remind humanity of their place in the world. Another perspective posits that the tower is a symbol of humanity's deepest fears and anxieties, a desperate attempt to reach the heavens and escape the unknown. The biblical account of the Tower of Babel also delves into the origins of different languages, explaining how God confuses the language of the people, causing them to scatter across the earth. This sudden and dramatic shift in their circumstances has a profound impact on human civilization, shaping the course of history and influencing the development of cultures and societies. As we explore the biblical account, it becomes clear that the confusion of languages is not just a punishment, but also an opportunity. It allows for the spread of humanity across the globe, leading to the creation of new communities, cultures, and nations. The diversity that arises from this event is what makes human civilization so rich and vibrant today. The key moment in the story comes when God confuses the language of the people, leading to their dispersion and the end of the tower-building project. This decisive act has far-reaching consequences shaping the course of human history and influencing the development of societies and cultures. In the aftermath of the Tower of Babel, humanity is forced to adapt and find new ways to communicate, to cooperate, and to thrive. This process of discovery and adaptation is what drives human progress, leading to the creation of new languages, cultures, and societies. The story of the Tower of Babel serves as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, humanity has the capacity to persevere, to innovate, and to thrive. In summary, the Tower of Babel narrative offers profound insights into human nature and societal development. It highlights the importance of humility, cooperation, and communication, while also celebrating the diversity and richness of human cultures.